Yo, guys, I know it's been a while since we last played some Minecraft, so today I installed this special mod pack. Look how cool it looks. It's like everything is real life. You, this is crazy. Invite us to the realm. Is it a new one? Yeah, about that. I'm going to play here by myself. You guys just watch. It has a setting where I can't invite people with a lower IQ than 50, so I'm afraid you can't join. Anyway, this mod pack isn't only about graphics. It's about physics, too. Physics? Man, that's one class I hated the most. I always got bullied for being, wait, bro, how are pieces of wood falling like that? This is straight up real life Minecraft. This is so cool. This shit ain't impressing me unless I get invited in the realm. But continue with what you were saying, Obama. I'm curious why you were bullied in school. Oh, because I had a crush on Michelle and everybody was telling me that they saw an anaconda between her legs in the locker room after she had football practice and she benched 400 pounds as a warm up. I think they were just jealous, but look who became the president of the United States and who's laughing now. Yeah, they were so jealous for sure because Michelle liked you, I guess. Trump, what are you doing, bro? You are mining dirt with a pickaxe. You use a shovel for dirt, not a pickaxe. It's an iron one, too. You're going to destroy it fast. I can't get enough of it. It's way too cool how the pieces of dirt just fall, and it's not everything just big-ass cubes. They should have made this game like this from the jump. Now let's explore this village. First of all, I want to go ahead and greet Jill and Michelle. Oh, uh, sorry, Jill. I didn't mean to do that. Bro, what do you mean, Jill? You just decapitated your own wife. Stop talking about mine. And what is this, bro? How are you able to cut the heads of animals? This shit wasn't possible before. It's getting way too realistic. Yeah, I know. Now let me break into this villager house real quick. And if this seems realistic to you, just wait until you see what I got next. Things are about to get crazy, not gonna lie. I want to bring back some memories to Obama in the end. You'll see. Typical Trump method of getting respected, applying brute force to his people to demand respect after breaking into his house. No wonder you're facing 1,000 years in prison, buddy. And what memories do you want to remind me? Hopefully not the ones from school like I just said a couple of seconds ago. No, not those. Nobody wants to see Michelle's anaconda. Trust me, it's going to be fun. No, not those. Nobody wants to see Michelle's anaconda. Trust me, it's going to be fun. But I have something to confess. This isn't your typical Minecraft world, boys, because Whoa, look at this. Bombs. We have bombs. And no Obama, this wasn't the surprise. But look, we have bombs. Oh my god, yes. I, I love whatever game this is. Minecraft and bombs, say less, baby. Where can I get this game from Trump? Tell me, I want to know. Now. It's called Teardown. And chill out for a second. Don't get too excited or you might get constipated. Constipated? Really? Congratulations. You found a way of ruining this beautiful moment, too. Why did you feel the need to say that out of nowhere? Yes, constipated. Because you haven't seen shit yet. What's next is going to truly amaze you. But for now, just look at this village you're sleeping while his house is com- Next time you have jokes like that where you bomb yourself, just give me a warning ahead. Now I have to triple my dose for the rest of the month, bro. I thought this really was Minecraft. You reminded me of the days when we were playing with Bush and Bill, remember? Before we started robbing banks and assassinating people. Oh, don't remind me of those two pricks, Bush, who blew up our realm with his improvised drone. That's why he and Obama needed to be separated at all costs. Because if they stayed together more than an hour, they would have came with a plan to nuke the whole world and a method to make oil from the Middle East in solid form so they can build houses with it. Can you stop talking about me and my dear friend George Bush and stop paving your way with your fist through houses? Like, come on, bro, I want to see some more bombs. And what is that surprise that you were talking about earlier? I want to see it. Well, you are going to see it just that you need to first ask the viewers that are watching this right now to please subscribe to our channel for more content, because only a few of them are actually subscribed, and that would help us a lot. But now, actually, before we do that, I want to do something else, because we just talked about Bush, and I remembered something. Whatever you remember, I hope it isn't what I think it is since you just mentioned Bush. And you know what? Let me shut up before I give you any ideas. But yeah, I think we had enough of this Minecraft shit. You burned down an entire village after breaking into every house and bombing the civilians. Oh, man. Isn't America great? That's why you need to keep shotguns on your wall as decoration. Because if Trump ever entered your house, you won't end up like these villagers. If I ever enter anybody's house, they would most likely say, oh, wow, Mr. Donald Trump, you're way more handsome in person than you seem on TV. All of that while I take a photo of their social security number so I can use their vote to vote myself. Anyways, now let's get into what I was talking about earlier. Talking about Bush gave me an idea. Trump, no, come on, bro, stop it. If anything, let's get back to Minecraft. It was fun, right, Joe? Um, Trump, Trump, this isn't a good idea, bro, come on. Can you shut up? This is what is wrong with you people nowadays. You act like a bitch. I didn't even do shit. 
I just looked at them. If anything, we are supposed to worry if you, Obama, stare at a building for more than five minutes. Look, bro, I'm not doing any harm to any of them. I'm just checking the build quality. Seems pretty solid now. To be honest, I came here because I want to go in the New York Central Park to test my drone. Test your drone in the New York Central Park? That sounds like a national threat to me, Trump. I know you've been frustrated ever since I rigged the election and I won all my speeches with the help of teleprompters, but you don't have to get rid of all of that frustration on the population now. I don't think you should have reminded him that. Look, boys, here it is. Let's fly it around the park. Ah, oh, man, I always wanted one of these. I might get one in real life, too, so I can fly it directly in your house, Joe, anytime you talk shit to me. And Obama, if you're asking yourself, this is that Iranian-quality drone, if you want, we can do a race to see which one are faster, mines or yours. Trump, I don't think, I don't think where you were just flying was Central Park. And I think if you take the camera away from it. Oh, wow, nice. I think you had enough fun, Trump. Can you show me what were you talking about earlier about a surprise that will bring me back some memories or something like that? I wanna see what you were talking about. Hopefully it isn't something dumb like this and actually something that would put a smile on my face. And you already know the only way you can truly do that. Yeah, Trump, come on, stop giving Obama blue balls. I didn't even get to test them on a building to see how much of a blast they have. Well, I guess these one will do the trick. So this was the surprise? The desert? What is this bullshit? Show me something interesting or I'm gonna show you what real drones look like in a minute. Chill out, bitch. It isn't just simply the desert. Maybe if I walk around it a little more, you will remind yourself of something, more like a war zone from when you were the president. Let me know if you remember anything. It should start with the letter Y or maybe A and end in Afghanistan. And because they had oil reserves here, you had something to do with them. Or how Bush would like to say, because they did an attack on United States. All right, so now we're deployed in Afghanistan or what? I don't know what is wrong with you today, Donnie, but you seem very war orientated. And instead of donating money to countries affected by it, you seem to enjoy flying drones in their territory. Ah, shit. Well, yeah, because I'm not you, Biden. I'm not about to donate our entire military resources to a country just so I can look good in front of the rest of the world and get a small deal of a couple billion of dollars of dirty money when our military is worth hundreds of billions. But you do you, bro. And that's why our country is about to turn into a third world one if you ever get elected again by mistake. Nothing is by mistake. Everything is calculated and fraudulently accurate. So if I do get elected, I might need a couple of more unregistered people votes. That's true. But I'll get there if I ever truly want to. And can you stop flying drones in the same building over and over again? Damn, bro, they are weak as shit. One of these should have wiped out the whole city. They kind of are, to be honest, you're not lying. Well, that's why I have this bad boy right here, and no, Obama, you're not touching it again. These 105 millimeters cannon bombs are good enough to put an 80-foot hole in any structure. And these cluster bombs are cool, too. Is this what you were using, Barack? Um, yeah. Cluster bombs did the trick back then. And here you have it, folks. Isn't this place looking familiar now? I bet this shit brings you a lot of memories of how you were testing those drones when they first came out how you deployed soldiers to clean all the streets, not caring if they were children or women. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're still doing this to this day, but back then it was OD, not gonna lie. Playing Minecraft with those real life physics brought me more memories than this shit right here. I'll rather remember Bush reconstructing a drone to blow up a realm than remember the times like this when things were no joke. You disappointed me again. Yes, I do like bombs. I mean, love bombs but trying to play it like I was invading other countries just for their oil and for my own benefit is very stupid to say I was doing it for America, for our soil and our own good. Trump doesn't care about that, Obama. He only sees the negative part of us. That's how he is built. I mean, other than being built like a walking Cheeto, he's also built with a lot of hate inside of him. So to feel good about himself, he's always going to drag other people down. All right, I heard enough of your guys' bullshit before we end today's session of gaming and we go back to doing our real life tasks. Let me use one last tool, the nuke bomb, and wipe out this entire city or whatever it is, even though we don't get any oil from it. As Obama once said, a nuke at the right place can well, get the votes uh, okay, of an entire state, man. Cool. I, I love America. Well, what can I say? It was a pleasure having to know your guys' inner thoughts again today. I didn't know Trump had such mental battles of wanting to blow up cities just like Obama did. I thought Barack was one of a kind, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, yeah, see you guys maybe later today. Donald, call me if you come to pick me up with the presidential car, okay? Yeah, I'll give you a call if I pull up, don't worry. I will think about what we're gonna do next regarding real life. 
But for now, I got to finish what I started and make this city an airport. All right. All right. You don't have to ask me like that, Donald. Joe, you can leave. I'll stay five more minutes. I want to see that, too.